you know, I hate their freaking guts. FIFA 21 has finally arrived. And if you guys want to get some cheap and reliable coins, check out buyfifacoins.com. I'm going to have a link in the description down below. Use FANGS for a 5% discount. If you guys and gals haven't got a chance to yet, check out my OnlyFans. I'll have a link in the description down below. I have daily content and it's a ton of fun. I'll see you there. Hey guys, how's it going? It is FANGS. And as you can tell by the title, I get asked this question so many times and I just want to answer it so I can get out of the way and people don't have to ask me in the questions and they can just find it. You know, maybe they can type in like the YouTube search. Why doesn't Fangs make videos with the Sidemen anymore? Now, before we get started, if you guys didn't get to see it at the beginning, check out my OnlyFans daily content link in the description down below. And whenever we are, this goes live, um, we'll be streaming on Facebook. So if you want to come watch me try to get in the foot champs and want to like, you know, punch someone in the face, you can be there. So. I get asked this a ton. So let's just go ahead. Let's start from the beginning. So I met the Sidemen in the beginning of my career. I first met JJ and then I met Josh through JJ. This was all on Skype because Skype was the thing back then. And then I met Simon through uh, JJ. And then I met Toby through like same time, Toby and Simon, all of them at the same time. And so they were kind of like the four that I really knew as the Sidemen. Well, they weren't called the Sidemen then, but the friends. Um, but they decided at one point to make the group the Sidemen. And so they had an editor, which was Bazinga, who had a great laugh and a great personality. He kind of joined in on that. And then I don't know exactly how Vicstar came into there, but I know Harry used to hang out with uh, me and Nep and AA9Skills and Swayback. And we did all these games together. And then randomly he disappeared. And we found out he was doing games with the Sidemen and boom, the Sidemen was formed. So um, I got to go hang out with them a lot in England at that time. Back in that time, I had no children. There was no coronavirus. There was none of that going on. We were all pretty much every single person except for maybe Vic. Yeah, no, he never does. We were all playing FIFA. So it was just like this perfect time where um, I made good friends. We traveled together. We went to events together. We made videos together because it was so easy. That time everyone was collabing. So it was like pink slips and all these different challenges, search and discard and all that kind of stuff. And it just worked. So making videos together was super easy. Now, as time went on, the Sidemen obviously started just straying away from FIFA. They started disliking FIFA a little bit and they went into more like in real life videos. I was always kind of doing FIFA in in real life videos at the same time. So when they did that, um, they kept doing games, but on their like other channels. And it was kind of a lot harder even then to try to get them to do FIFA content, which is kind of what I was more focused on. Cause that's like the only thing, like if you're not in person hanging out together, that's kind of one of the only types of content you're making if that's what you are. And so um, that was hard, but a lot of times I would just travel there. I went to England like three or four times a year and it was quick and easy and I could stay. I stayed at both the regular Sidemen house and then I stayed at the newer Sidemen house. One time me and Doobie got to stay at the new Sidemen house and there was no one there because they hadn't moved in yet. And I'm pretty sure that place is haunted, but it didn't scare me as bad after all the people moved in. But what that happened or what, what that made happen is I could make FIFA videos obviously in person with them, but then also you could do in real life videos. And I had a ton of IRL videos that we did and it's easy cause they're there. Like you're together. Like we're not across in Texas and all the way over here in London, we're together. And that's kind of like what drives a lot of YouTube sometimes is just being able to do things like in a collaboration and come together to do them. So, um, that was easy. And so I could do like the reading perverted comments, which a lot of those style of videos, they don't even allow on YouTube anymore. And it just was fun. And we got to hang out. Um, and we got to do all that and it was great. I loved it. Um, I'm always really thankful for them always letting us stay there. Now they all live apart, but before that even happened, the last time I've actually seen them in person was actually in February of 2017, I think. So, um, wait, 2018, February, 2018, right before I had my son, I probably shouldn't have been traveling, but um, I got pregnant and obviously that was the last time I was able to go and then I couldn't pass that. And you get, if you like bring into the picture having a new baby and then pass that, like trying to figure out being a new mom and trying to get your YouTube and stuff going. And they're not really doing FIFA at the time. So you're really not making videos together at that point. Um, I, we try to keep up and I do talk to them and I even talk to like Freya and she's like, yeah, if y'all come, you can stay at our place, but you know, it's not, it's not huge. So they're the babies and it, well, at that time it was one baby. Now there'd be two babies and that's cool and all, but it's really hard to uproot yourself and do that whenever you have a kid, not to mention that somehow whenever I was hopefully going to be able to see them, 
Um, whenever JJ was fighting Logan Paul, um, somehow, <laughs> boop, I got pregnant again. And so that kind of killed my travel plans, especially. I was going to go to that fight, but I was so sick that it just did not work out. I was so sick. Um, so it's just not, it's not worked on a level to be where we can really make videos together. It never is. Like, JJ, I can't just be like, hey, um, JJ, could you just go ahead and hop on FIFA so we can make a video together? Because, like, he's got other stuff going on and they all have all this other stuff going on. Now, maybe, hopefully this year, I know that uh, I've seen a little bit of Simon and maybe even Josh play the new FIFA. So maybe it'll happen and maybe... We can figure it out, but we don't want to like repeat the same content that happened over and over where it's like UK versus USA. We kind of run out of ideas with that. And yes, the most recent Simon that I was able to see, the only one that's met Rook really is Toby. And that's only because we were at those summer games. And at that time we saw each other literally for like six or seven hours. Someone's going to be like, Hey, let's make a video together. What's up, man? I think he was in my vlog at the time. Um, but it's just things change. Times change, people change, people have different things they need to do. I'm sure the sidemen at this point are even just trying to scramble to be able to make their sideman channel videos together and um, have COVID-19, which, oh, is the other big problem right now. So I've got now, I'm six months postpartum. Um, I'm starting to feel better, minus this crazy blood pressure thing, which it was fine last night, it was great. And then this morning it was kind of high again. Still not drinking Red Bulls, I'm two days out and I'm losing it, um, but, I wanted to get the boys together and, you know, once six months, once two and a half, let's get on a plane, let's go to England, we'll get like an Airbnb, kind of in between where all of them are, and we can hang out, maybe we can make some content, all that different kind of stuff. And COVID just does not allow that to happen. I had to cancel my freaking trip to New Mexico here, just on the other state next to me, because they don't allow people to come in without quarantining in December. So COVID has not helped the cause for that happening at all. So I know that a lot of people like loved that content. Obviously I loved making that content and it was a lot of fun and it was back then, but it's just not something that's like super easy that can be done. It's not something, <laughs> yeah, UK versus USA trick shots. I do need to try this, but mine are always bad. It's not something that I can like force upon them. And I, it's not, I know Simon has a new series right now and I think it's some kind of like Tyrionry and he does, um, where he plays the co-op divisions or whatever. And so, you know, maybe at some point I'll be on that, but it's not like we're lined up to where we can set it up and happen all the time. Our schedules are different. Everything's different. And it's just, it's just the way things happen. It's the way things go. I barely make videos with like any of the YouTubers anymore. And you don't see a lot of people collaborating unless it's the same, like Capcom Tom, uh, Oakley and Andy and those type of people who make that style of content. So a lot of people, I've swayed away from that. I know the Sidemen haven't. Um, and I don't, I'm not a multi-game channel, so I can't be like, hey, I'm gonna post Among Us on this channel because I don't think anyone would watch it. Maybe if I was doing it with the Sidemen, but you never really know. So that's pretty much what it is. Like, it's not because, you know, I hate their freaking guts. They are terrible people and they don't talk to me. No, it's not that. It's mostly, <laughs> it's mostly because there's just not, it's just not lining up. It's just not where we are in our careers like right now. So that us making videos is not where it lines up right now. So I stream all the time. They stream on different platforms than me. It's just all, we're just in different paths where we used to all kind of be in the same path. Now we're in like different paths. So we'll see what the future brings, but that is my explanation for that. I wanted to do that. So like people would please stop asking. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content I am putting out though. Don't forget to check us out. We're live on Facebook right now. Um, I'm probably screaming at FIFA. And my blood pressure is probably worse because I want to try to qualify for foot champs. And yeah, check out my OnlyFans daily content. Link in the description down below. All right. See you guys.